and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to do a drugstore first impressions. So a few days ago, I actually went to Ulta and I found some really awesome things that I've been eyeing for a while but didn't really feel like getting them. And you know when you're having that moment where you're just on a shopping hype and then you want to buy anything and everything and so that's kind of what was going on and so I did buy a couple of things that I want to try and I thought hey I'll just do a video and share my experience with you guys on what I think of them but yeah I'm really excited but yeah let's get started so the first product is this Aveeno positively radiant max glow infusion drops so this is what that looks like I've heard many things about this I've heard really good things about this as well and it said max glow so I was like I already like yes yes all the glow please and so I thought I would try this out um this okay let me tell you guys a little something okay putting some on my hand and just putting that on my face but I went to Ulta to go get this right and it was 20 oh my god this smells so good oh wow wow that smells amazing oh my god that smells amazing but yeah anyway I went to Ulta to go and get it and it was 22.99 and I thought okay that makes sense like it might be a newer, it's a newer product and plus like Aveeno can have products that are priced a little bit higher than traditional drugstore products. So I said, cool, whatever. And my sister and I were going to get it, but uh, we, they didn't have two, they only had one left. And so we said, okay, fine, we'll just get it together at Target instead. I'm pretty sure they would have it there. We go to Target. Do you know how much that thing was? It was $17.99 and then they had their little cartwheel thing for $4 off. So we literally got it for $13. Like, Ulta's ripping us off with that one, guys. So if you guys want to try it, definitely recommend going to uh, Target for that one just because it's priced a lot cheaper. And I'm guessing because Ulta has reward points and stuff, so like they can justify upping the price a little bit because you're getting it back in points, but still. Go to Target. Okay, and I'm gonna use my healthy foundation from Physicians Formula. I love this stuff. I feel like at the drugstore, I, I don't find a lot of um, glowy or more natural finished foundations. A lot of them seem to be matte and a lot of the ones coming out are also matte. And I'm just not really a fan. I love dewy. And so I feel like this one, it literally is a healthy foundation. It makes your skin look so nice and healthy. So I'm just going to apply three swipes here and I've used this foundation before I use this all the time actually I love this foundation and you'll see this the finish that that gives too it's such a natural finish I went and got a facial last week and for whatever reason my skin was breaking out like crazy I don't typically get a lot of breakouts but like in this area I don't know if you guys can see that but like dang I don't know where that was even coming from and I got a microdermabrasion, so if anything, it's supposed to clean out my pores, not make my pores clog. I mean, yeah, I don't know what that was about. And so now I'm going to go in with my Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. The amount of times I've used this product is insane. This is probably my, I want to say like my fifth or sixth one that I use. I use the color Medium. I love this stuff. It's... It does not crease on me. If I set it, I'm so good. No creasing at all. And um, it's just not heavy and it's not thick. And that's what I like when I'm going for a little bit lighter coverage. I don't want anything super thick or full coverage. And the thing is with me, I feel like my under eyes just show more than your average. And I just apply, apply it kind of like this. And it covers everything up. So now that I have all my concealer and foundation on, I just kind of like to pat everything in. So I put on my concealer and typically what I usually would do is just set under my eyes and smile line and kind of on my face. But today I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be using cream products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set after everything's on my face. So I'm going to apply my bronzer, my um, blush and my highlight because those are going to be cream. And then I'm going to very lightly set that with my powder. Okay, so this product is new that I'm trying. So this is the Revlon Instant Cheek Maker, and this is what that looks like. And so it has two sides. So this is your highlighting side, and this is supposed to be your blush slash bronzer side. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use this as a bronzer very lightly. I swatched it on my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but it does have a sheen to it. 
So I'm going to put that very lightly and kind of play around and see what happens there. So I'm just going to take this bronzing side and okay I'm just going to apply this with my hand because that's just not working out for me. Okay, so let's just try one side and see what happens. So I'm just going to go in with a stippling brush, a smaller one like this, and just blend that. Oh, that's nice. It just gives you a nice glow, but it's very subtle, but that, that was so easy to blend. What the heck? Wow, I'm actually very impressed. Okay, let's try the other side. So I'm going to make more of a line here. Okay, so I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I feel like it just added a really subtle glow to my face, and that was so easy to blend, I am so surprised. Typically, what I would do is I would put on my bronzer, my blush, and then my highlight. But what I'm going to do now, I already applied my bronzer, so I'm going to apply my highlight, and then I'm going to apply the blush, just because I want the blush to kind of blend everything together, and I don't want there to be any sharp lines or any weird blending situation going on. So, the highlighter that I'm going to use, and this is one that I picked up from Ulta recently, it's the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. And this is in the color 05. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but uh, see that shine right there? That's nice. And it blends really nicely too. Ooh. Okay, let's try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it on my fingers. And then I'm going to pat it in kind of like that. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, let me just wipe my hands off. And then I'm just going to blend it with a highlighting brush. Damn, you guys, do you guys see that? Okay, love. Actually, I'm tripping. I'm gonna take a little bit more and put that right here. Damn, I, I really love that highlighter. That's so nice. And so let's try the blush. So now I'm gonna go in with the blush. The blush, it's the same thing. It's the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. And this is in the color Rose Petal Pop 04. So that's what that looks like. And so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheek and bring it back a little. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. There's definitely color here and it's really beautiful. The only thing I'm worried about, I just feel like... It's just like a little bit patchy over here. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try a different method on the other side. Instead of applying it on my hands and putting it on my cheeks, I'm just going to put it on my brush instead and see what happens. Kind of like this. Oh, you guys, this is so much nicer like this. I just feel like you have more control. Oh, yeah. That's, that's how y'all should apply it. But I love that color though, that's really pretty. I feel like in the summer, that would look amazing. So now what I'm gonna do really quick, I just need to set under my eyes because it's starting to crease, but we need to fix this mess. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and I'll be right back, but I'm not using anything new. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Brow Definer in the color medium brown that I've always used. So I'm gonna do that and I will return. Okay, hello, I'm back. Okay, so I just did my brows. And now I am going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. When I went to Ulta, I found this product. It's the Revlon Color Stay Cream Shadow in the color Caramel. And it just looked so beautiful. And so I had to try it out. But what I'm going to be using alongside this is going to be my Tartlet in Bloom palette. And so this is what I'm going to be using for my bases and everything. And then I'm going to be putting this on my lid, which I'll show you guys. This is what that color looks like. It's a beautiful, taupey, goldy color. So first things first, I'm just going to apply um, an eyeshadow that's the same color as my skin all over my lid, just so there's a base to work with. So now I'm going to go in with the color Sweetheart from the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I just want to show you what that looks like. It's kind of like a pinkish color right here. You can use whatever color you want. Um, I'm just using this just to go hand in hand with the color that I had gotten from Ulta. So any color would work, any look would work. I'm just putting this as a base and then I'll just show you how that would apply kind of thing. You know what I mean?
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color Rebel from the Tarte palette so it looks kind of like this brown, like a lighter brown. Any light brown will work just fine. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to define my crease a little bit with that. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the color Sweetheart, but I'm just going to do it at a lower scale and not drag it out too much. I'm going to go in with the color Caramel, which is the color from Revlon. And I'm just going to take that on my finger just because I feel like usually products like this apply the best that way. And I'm going to put that in on my lid uh, very carefully. So as you guys can see, the outer part of my lid already has some definition to it. So I'm just going to take that color and apply that in the center and then kind of work it on both the inner side and the outer side of my lid and kind of blend everything together. Oh. That's pretty. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so I feel like I have the base layer of the caramel color down, but I do want to blend everything together. So I'm gonna go back with my Morphe M441 brush and take that in the color Rebel, which is that lighter brown color, and kind of blend that in with the caramel color. Just so there's no weird lines. I actually really like the formula of this. Once it sets, it doesn't go anywhere and I feel like, yeah, like it's not creasing so far, so that's really good. And it's blending really nicely with the other color, so I feel like it's not um, tacky, you know? Like it just, yeah, I really like that a lot. Okay, let me do the other eye real quick. I'm really impressed. I'm curious to see if it lasts all day because oftentimes I feel like if you have a cream product, sometimes it creases. But just by how fast that dried, I would be surprised if it, if it creased, to be honest. So now what I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to take a flat brush like this and I'm going to take a lighter color, a matte color, not anything shimmery. I'm just going to take Charmer from this so you can see it's kind of like a lighter white color. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner just to brighten it up just because the color on my lid is a little bit darker. And I'm also going to bring that under my brow as well. I love them. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put mascara on really quick. I'm going to be using my Lash Paradise mascara. And this is the one from L'Oreal. This is the dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara. I love this mascara because it gives you crazy volume. So I'm going to go curl my lashes. And I'm going to put on mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so hi, I'm back. I did my mascara, but I completely forgot to put a color on my lower lash line. So I just waited for that mascara to dry just because I don't want it to kind of go everywhere. But I do want to put a color under there because I feel like my look is not complete without that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the initial color, that the light brown that I was talking about, the color Rebel, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. Do you see the difference that that makes? Just by applying that one color with a thinner brush like this under my lower lash line, you can see that this one just kind of puts ties the whole look together. And this one, I just feel like there isn't much going on, you know? So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a lip product. I'm gonna be using the Burt's Bees lipstick in the color 500. So that's what that looks like. I love this color so much. Also, this color I had bought in before, so I've used this before and I've tried it out and I know that I loved it. So I'm just going to set my face and I'm going to be using the Morphe Setting Mist. And I've talked about this before. I love this stuff. So I'm just going to set my face and then we'll kind of get collected and I'll tell you my thoughts on the products that I had purchased and which ones exactly they were so you guys can have an idea of what the heck I was talking about because I feel like I was all over the place. But, and also another thing, I will list everything in the description box below if you missed the name of anything or the color, it's all down below. So go check there too if you um, want to know what I was using. 
so this is the final look this is how the makeup looks like I am very happy and I'm so impressed with the products honestly so I do want to do a little bit of a recap to show you guys which products exactly are the ones that I bought and my thoughts on them so first things first was the max glow infusion drops that I had used from Aveeno first of all I don't think okay I thought that the morphe setting mist smelled amazing and wow was i fooled like this smells beautiful if you are sensitive to scents and you like things that are more fragrance free then i would say to stay away from it but i would say to give it a shot just because it's so beautiful on the skin and it's so soft and serumy and it dries really fast so i don't feel like it's tacky or anything like that and one thing i'll say too off the bat is like i'm not seeing any extra pores or anything like that on my skin at all actually um i do see my skin being dewy but also i did a lot of things to make my skin look dewy and this can be one of the contributing factors to that so i love this definitely recommend that so the next product is the revlon photo ready instant cheek maker which is this product and that's the one that i used for my bronzer i was going to use the highlight but i did really want to try the nyx highlight as well so I did not end up using this highlight, but I did swatch it on my hand and it is very beautiful and just as creamy as the NYX one that I had used. But I love the bronzer on this. If you don't like shimmery bronzers or more of a shimmer glow look, I would not recommend this just because you will definitely see that. But one thing I will say too in this range that there are I think three other color duos. So if this doesn't look like a color palette situation that you would like they do have other ranges as well for the nyx highlight and blush i really love these the highlighter applied so beautifully and it left such a nice glow you can actually probably see that right there on the skin and it looks very natural it doesn't look like you had applied highlighter it looks very subtle which i love so if you like subtle highlighters Yes, 100%. I really think that you would like this. And I, it's easy, it's compact, and it's easy to travel with. But if you like more banging, crazy highlights, this might not give you that effect. So just keep that in mind. So for the blush, however, I love the color. I love how it looks like. But application is key. Like for me, when you saw when I first applied it on my fingers and then tried to blend that out, I did not like that. I just felt that it looked really patchy around my pore area and where i had initially applied it and i just did not like that look but when i use my stippling brush oh let me show you but when i use my stippling brush and kind of uh dabbed it into the uh, blush and then applied that that gave the most beautiful flushed look and last but not least is the revlon caramel eyeshadow i love this i love the look that this gives me and one thing that i'll say too is yes so on my eyes i technically only used four colors i used that pinkish color the rebel which was the light brown i used the caramel and then just a lighter color on my brow bone and on my inner corner so i only used four colors but let's say that you're in a rush then you can definitely only opt for two colors put this all over your lid and kind of blend that all over and then just take a little bit of a darker color and blend that into your crease and then you're good to go so now i kind of want to go back and get the other colors because they had this champagne -y white one and that one was really beautiful too so i might go do that but i love this would recommend this 110 percent and also if you're not a fan of this color but you like cream products they also have different colors too so i would check it out and see if, uh, if the other colors there suit you better that is all for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i was so excited to purchase these and try them out and i'm really really happy that i did just because i feel like these are very easy day-to-day um, products that I can use so definitely love them would recommend them to you 110% especially the eyeshadow I really love like that cream shadow a lot so yes that's all for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know your feedback what you guys like didn't like any feedback would be great and very much appreciated and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time bye